Boo. And hello, and welcome to Wednesday, and all that stuff. Uh, if you're wondering, the piece of music at the start there is from the Wii U shop by Nintendo. I mentioned this because last time loads of people recognised it, and nobody seems to know it this time. Weird. I can only assume fluctuations in the space-time continuum. Anyway, <clears throat> I hope you're all as well as can be in these times of strife and shite, but fear not. Um, Actually, you probably should fear things. Bears. They're dangerous. Especially the grizzly ones. Lethal. Absolutely lethal. Right, before we do anything, actually, uh, let me just sort something out here. Right, 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 right. right, right. Oh, God, hang on. Oh, bloody hell, I've knocked my arm on the mic. Ooh, there we are. Right. Uh, anybody who's logged into Twitter, I'm pretty sure I can now tweet through TweetDeck. I'm going to send a tweet. Tell me if you can see it. I'm sending it... Well, the volume's low, is it? Hey? No, it's a... What? Hang on. No, it's exactly the same as usual. If it went any louder, it'd be a bit peaky, I think. Well, I'll turn it up a bit, and we'll see how it goes. Um, right. Oh, God, no, it's gone a bit lethal. Oh, oh, turn it down. Right. Uh, yes, I'm going to send the tweet. Right. Now. And, hang on, I'm checking on my devices here. Yep, I can't see it. Can anybody else? Yes, everyone else can see it. And my most recent mention is from 2019. Yep, that's still fucked. Fortunately, my direct messages seem to be working again. Uh, but I still can't see it. I think I've been reverse shadow banned. <laughs> I think I can... Everybody else can see what I can do, but I can't see what anybody else does. <laughs> Ah, uh, the joys. The only thing time I, things I can see is if somebody... Oh, God, no, it's got worse, isn't it? Oh, fuck it, who cares? Right. <clears throat> Thank you for that anyway. At least we know it worked. Mm. Right. Could be tweet... Oh, no, this is everything, Canic Jim. This is everything. Uh, yeah, tweet Jake wouldn't even bloody load anything until recently. Oh, God. Oh, what Tom is sore this week. Be kind to him during the quiz. Because he's been... Slapped? I don't know. No, did you have surgery, what, Tom? I can't bloody remember. Or weren't you horribly burned? Was there some oh, bloody hell? There's always something going on. <laughs> Okie doke. Uh, hello, Jiggle Nonicon. Mm. So, uh, tonight's quiz is going to be about this. Oh, shit. The button's not working. God damn it. Ah, oh, there we are. It's not about this at all. It's a complete lie. Um... So somebody mentioned, basically, the old Glooby dolls. And I thought, oh, do you know, I want to take a photo one for something. I couldn't find where I'd put them. And oh, God, I know I kept at least one of them. Um, but so I quickly Googled and discovered this design, which is actually, I think, worse than any of the ones I had on the channel. I mean, it looks properly dead. It looks like somebody is really weekend at Burnsying that thing. No, Burnsying. 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 Uh, yes. Anyway, it's bloody awful and I hate it. Also, its hat doesn't make sense to me. It's like a crushed deer stalker or something. Let's get rid of this. And never speak of it again. We'll never see anything so horrific until the song at the end of the stream, which I think is possibly the worst we've ever had. Right then. <coughs> uh, we've got a bit of official business before we begin tonight. Mm. Is Simmons Dude here? I'm sure there's a way I can find that out. Uh, yes, I believe he is. He is indeed. There we are. Oh, an albino crocodile! Bloody hell, three years sub-anniversary. Thank you very much indeed. Many salutes in your direction. Three years? Am I getting old? No, it's the children that are wrong, albino crocodile. <laughs> so, uh, basically, Supermod Dave has conferred with whatever dark forces construct his uh, psyche and decided he needed another mod. And that mod is going to be Simmons Dude. I hope he has chosen wisely. I don't get involved in some mod decisions because, uh, I don't know, I might unleash that demon that Dave keeps in his shed. What's it called? Mr. T? I forget. But anyway, as a result... Sim oh yeah, hang on, sorry. I've got the bloody noises muted. There we are. Um, 
As a result, we must have the Ascension Ceremony for Simmons Dude. As Simmons Dude ascends to modhood. <clears throat> Everybody, please be upstanding. And there we are. What more beauty could you ask for? Right, let's do the official stuff. Uh, I think... Hang on, I don't know the bloody command. Boop. Hang on. Oh, bloody hell, why hasn't it worked? Damn you. Yes! Da -da 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 -da. It has happened. The funk spindle has spoken. Well, Dave, really. But Dave is also the funk spindle. Don't tell anyone. There we are. Will Simmons do be getting his own song? God, no. It's bad enough we've got that one as it is. This one. Hello, Dave. Ich habe zehn Finger und zwei Hände. Ich habe zehn Finger, zwei Hände und zwei Arme. Ich habe zehn Finger, zwei Hände, zwei Arme und zwei Schultern. There we are. You can't argue with that. Mainly because it doesn't really make any arguments for anything. Um, so... Simmons, dude, it is now your holy honour to once every three months ban a spammer. Because <laughs> that's about all we ever get here. <laughs> I think Simmons, dude, is checking the um, buttons. Fear not. It's all fine. <laughs> uh, Sega the Kid has fixed his GameCube. Good stuff. And, uh, oh yeah, the 3DS and Wii U eShops. They're gone. They're gone. Ain't no more. You can't buy anything that was on the 3DS shop or on the Wii U shop. Ah, oh, dear. Dave couldn't keep up with that. Who could, Ghosty Fish? Who could? The next thing is we have to indoctrinate Sims Dunes doing the YouTube channel on a live stream, which is horrific. Anyway. <laughs> the PS3 and Vita shops still abide, says Agamemnon 2. Yeah, that's true. That is true. They are still running, aren't they? They were going at close. And wasn't there a bit of... Uh, sort of um, pushback on it and they said, all right, we'll keep them open. As opposed to Nintendo, was like, fuck you! We're going to burn these to the floor. Fox Die Ocelot! Thank you very much for your sub there. Four months. Uh, what have we missed here? Have we missed Dangavad subscribing for 25 months? Thank you. Matt H84 subscribing for three months. Frankie 84 16 months. Bubblegum Bunny 69. <gasps> 12 minutes ago. Apparently I'm still subscribed, even though my payment bounced. The power of actions. Your money's no good here. We only need a blobby emote. Thank you. And Dave DJ Johnson, Supermod Extraordinaire. Thank you very much for your 45 months. Bloody hell. And Iron Ruster, 25 months. Thank you very much. Right. <clears throat> the Completionist for every game on 3DS and Wii Store to save them. I've got to say, for somebody called The Completionist, that is so on brand. 10 points to them. Possibly even 15. Um, Cinnamon Robin says you can still re-download anything you've bought from the Wii U or 3DS eShop so clearly all the games are still on their servers yes yeah. I don't want to add any more to it for when they eventually turn it off completely and you can't even reload stuff yeah. oh, dearie me Ballet Dude asks if everyone has recovered from Sunday's watch of interference <laughs> I think yeah you, you kind of were um partially responsible for that ballet dude i wanted to do it so i could watch stuart millard's video on it which is brilliant by the way um but i already had a copy because you had mentioned it before i believe so there we are um yeah i went to see infinity pool at the cinema new horror -y type film from uh, david cronenberg's son tim cronenberg i can't remember his name uh it was all right it was all right but i did not find it anywhere near as affecting as interference <laughs> <laughs> so, um, hmm, goes to say something about uh, children's educational programmes from the 80s, doesn't it, really? Oh, dear. Brandon, thank you. Thank you, folks. Yeah, Brandon Cronenberg. That's the man. 
And you missed the end of Doombolt. Did a missile ever actually show up? Not as such, Jaunty's Corner, but there was a lot of running around and shutting things down and stuff. It was fun. There was a massive uh, gunfight at the end. That loads of, there was a proper shootout with loads of people killed and stuff. It's like the end of a cheap James Bond spoof from the, Italy in the 1970s. Yeah. Bloody hell. Commissar Ludfang says, interference was heavy. You're not fucking wrong, mate. It really was heavy, wasn't it? Blimey. Yeah, DC Flake. I was expecting a ghost story. That was my understanding of what it was, and it really wasn't that at all, was it? Bloody hell. Um, in his video, Mr. Millard mentions that he was terrified of it as a child after, like, um, is it the end of episode one, where you see the ghost at the end? Tried to pull um, a sickie, pretending he had a stomach ache on the day. He didn't pull it off, was sent to school. And then when the stuff has happened on the television again, when he was watching it, in, I mean, you can imagine it in the dark, on a bloody TV trolley, him and somebody else ran for the door when the ghost showed up on the screen again. And the teacher stopped him and made him go and sit back down. He was like, fucking hell. Ooh, dearie me. Stuart Kenny says, I saw in Fancy Pool yesterday a pensioner's screening in Workington. There's a few... Th oh, a pensioner's screening for... Whew, whew, bloody hell. In case you're wondering, by the way, um, some of the uh, effects, specifically the stop motion effects, I imagine, for Infinity Pool were done by Lee Hardcastle, who you may know um, did the uh, claymation, I suppose. Yeah, claymation scene in Game Child and uh, many, many other things on his own channel, obviously. Hmm. Bronze Retriever, bless you, my friend. You have grown. You know these things. You're self-aware. You get uh, saluted for that. Right. Uh, I've recently been re-watching episodes of 90s horror show Monsters, says Ray Daly Writer. What on earth is Monsters? Yeah, I don't know that one. I tell you what. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this. But me and my girlfriend have been going through 90 sci-fi shows that I'd never heard of. Just like the first episode of each. See what they're like. There's so many I hadn't heard of. I honestly thought I'd have come across nearly all of them. But we've got like 25 I'd never bloody heard of. Um, so now we've seen episode one of Cleopatra 2525. Apparently produced by Sam Raimi. Hmm. Hmm. Monsters was a semi-sequel to Tales from the Dark. Side. Ah, I'm, I'm guessing quality in that case. A light horror version of Out of Limits. Gosh. Um, Out of Limits itself was light horror quite a lot, wasn't it? And always a bit too long, Out of Limits. It's a funny thing about Out of Limits. It's like the original series was often kind of a bit long. And so for the um, reboot, they were like, make sure you make it too long, folks. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? Anyway, we should go and quiz. But before we do, I would like to... Uh... <laughs> oh, Matt, H84. Yeah, Megan is... Yeah, it's not a good one. It's not a good one. <laughs> Um, I got one of those AI text things, uh, chat GPT, not the latest one, the old one, three or whatever, and I asked it to produce uh, top ten G.I. Joe villains rejected for having rude names. Top ten G.I. Joe villains rejected for having rude names. And I was very pleased with the ten results, which were Stencho, Crudface, Cutthroat, Slimeball, Dr. Nasty, The Grump, <laughs> The Butcher, The Bully, Rage A Lot, but the real beauty is number 10, The Grundle. <laughs> what the hell is The Grundle? Why is, that? is that some slang I'm not aware of or is it just nonsense? <laughs> I kind of want to get a, a picture of the Grundle reduced by a produced by a different AI, but I can't be fucked. Right, <clears throat> the time has come, friends, to get one of these bloody quizzes going, I reckon. Because nothing... Oh, apparently the grundle is just slang for the taint. Oh, well. Oh, 
I was amused by that. And now it's just rubbish. Oh, well. Mm. <sighs> I was going to rename the dancing monster the Grundle. <laughs> I don't think I will now. <laughs> Dave, I do not understand your um, message. What, what are you... What are you talking about? That's already happened. What? Forget what, Dave? What are you talking about? We did it. Are you attempting to gaslight us, Dave? Like we just had a video and everything. <laughs> uh, Mentus, Quan is never strong. He really isn't, is he? The strong one is like any character. But well, actually, I suppose the strongest one in the game is probably the waiter. Hans or Franz, can't remember which one. Um, who just murders you by throwing glasses at you and there's nothing you can do about it almost. People have got past it without cheating, but but just literally saving state after every positive move. It's absolutely ridiculous. And Willy Wonka's pasty. Thank you very much for your sub there. Right then. <clears throat> I think the time has come for a bloody quiz. This week's quiz is going to be about card games, but card games on computer. Ooh. And uh, note, Perversions of Science is not on my list because I'd heard of that, Ballet Dude. I've got them all saved somewhere. I remember seeing one of the episodes, like Late Night on Channel 4, back in the day. Well, um, Anyway, card games on computer. Don't worry, they're not all, like, you know, games with a standard deck. You will see things. Oh, Daxtron, hope everything's all right. Bloody hell. Mind you, don't you work in the hospital? I forget. No, you don't anymore, do you? Shit. Yeah, hope things are right, mate. Um, that is it. Yeah, Arcturus Deluxe. There doesn't seem to be a rip of a working Amiga version of Human Killing Machine. We ran into that years ago. I'm glad I did the ST version. Bloody hell. Okie doke. Snakey B says, obvious question. Will some of the games be computer adaptation of physical card games? Yes, but not as many as you would think. That's completely redundant because I don't know how many you think. Hershey23, thank you very much for your sub there. 30 months. Right. Anyway, let's have an intro and then we'll go. Well, actually, before we have the intro, I will mention if you haven't played along with the quiz before and you want to play along at home and be in the leaderboards and stuff, you must give QuizKit permission to know where you click on your screen and therefore which answer thou hast given. And you can do that by moving your mouse pointer or finger or whatever over to the right hand side of the screen. Mm. Okie doke. Here's a quiz intro. After that, there'll be a quiz. Yay! <laughs> And now, from Norwich, it's the Quiz of the Week. Alfonso, you bastard. How could you? Two weeks in a row as well. Ah, oh, I should remember to change it. Right then. <laughs> Before we begin, we will mention the rules. The rules are this. There will be 12 questions. There will be four potential multiple choice answers for each question. You must click on the right answer, in which case you will be given points. And the quicker you click, the more points you will get. However... Should you fail and click on an incorrect answer, some points will be slapped out of your hand and stamped upon, and you will go down in points as a result. So, not answering can be a strategy. However, you are very unlikely to finish in the top ten if you do not answer every question. Uh, that's about it, really. I suppose the only thing you need to know is that the quizzes in this quiz all take the form of you will see a screenshot from a game, you just have to click on the name of the game. And that's it. And the thing that connects them all, they're all card games. But on a computer, like. That's simple, isn't it? Right. Oh, hang on. There's something else you should know about these questions. Yes, the last two are bastards. Right then, let's get some music up. 
That sounds about right for a bed, I reckon. Don't know why I said that. I can't hear how loud it is to you. Oh, I've turned it right down. My door drives me mad. There we are. Nice. So, not much more to say, really. We're going to begin very shortly. So if you haven't given Quizkit permission you want to play along, please do so now. Or you'll have to play along in your mind. In your mind, I say. Count down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Right. That's it. Here we go, folks. Time for question one. But fear not. Well, actually, I'll get the rules up on the screen first. That's probably sensible. Let's do that, and then we'll know everybody's in. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Plop. There we go. It's a going out now. It's weird. Everyone say the this is quiet. The, something is up with the volume on this because people were saying the um, mic was quiet. Now the um, music bed here is literally twice the volume of what it usually is. Weird. Weird. Okie doke. It's loud now. What? What? It's gone loud. Uh -huh. This is weird. How about there? Yeah, it looks too loud for me as well. Good luck, Master Rat. You can do it. <clears throat> the music cannot be louder than my voice. It's, my voice is peaking, like, literally twice as loud. That's mad. How about now? Now I'm putting it back to the level it usually is. <laughs> JD Amato underscore says, I think people have that weird sound compression add-on enable that fucks up the volume and background noise. Oh, yes. Yeah, so we are now back at the usual levels we have. Well, that was good. <laughs> Fiddled with it, doubled the volume, put it back down to normal. Oh, dear. Right then. <clears throat> Fear not. There are no Assassin's games on this. None whatsoever. Right. Are we ready? I do hope so, because this is question one. Don't worry, you won't have to answer it yet. And do remember... Oh no, this does not include card mini games within a bigger game. Oh, cheers to Lux. This is the, the core of the game, or at the very least a massive part of it. Not a mini game, so to speak. Okie doke. Do remember that we like everyone to get question one right. So even in the unlikely event so you don't recognise it, you'll know what it is when you see all the other options. Now, I don't want to give this one away, but if you are extremely eagle-eyed, you might be able to spot a clue in the text on this one. Cover girl strip uno. Oh, if only, Amiga Square. I imagine that robot's familiar to quite a few of you. I mean, personally, I'd have probably had the um, beach seed with the palm tree, but you know, that's just me. Right then, I'm going to ask this question very shortly. <sighs> it's the game Squid Reject's father spent about 10,000 hours playing. Elden Ring, no. Okie doke. He's got a fiddle of me, uh, That's better. Fiddle of me headphones there. Okie doke. Ready. Now we don't have the animation of the robot, I'm afraid, man. Matt H. As cool as that would have been, we ain't got it. Okie doke. Five, four, three, two, one. What is this game? Is it Solitaire, Crexenby, Herbal Fleur McGinty's 52 Pickup, or Twirlo? Solitaire, Crexenby, Herbal Flurb McGinty's 52 pickup or Twirlo? Triples by the dozen. Thank you very much for your sub there. <laughs> Film Canary's trying to put one of the threes on the four. It won't go. It won't go. It's why the robot won't move. Ah. Uh. So, 
As you may have guessed, I made all of these up except Solitaire. It's Solitaire, specifically the Windows 3.1 version. 269 of you living in Correct Town. I should bloody hope so. Mm. But what is question two going to be? Well, we've got to see who's quickest on this one first, and then we'll find out. Quickest off the mark was Contestant 6, then Magic Knight 75, then Di Carino. The names will load in after a few questions. Until then, there'll be a lot of contestant number something. Lucky 100 was Birds Blue. Birds Blue. Question number two is this. The names have been blanked out to protect the innocent or something. Actually, I don't think it really matters, but I thought I might as well. Interest to see how many people recognise this is incredibly popular at the moment. And Finn, if you're not sure what this is, I think you'll probably be able to work it out from the answers. I'm going to zoom in a bit because it might help if you can see some more detail, but it's a very vertical one. It's taken from an iPad. I'm going to zoom in even more, actually. Will you? Here's the bottom if you want to see that. Here's the top if you want to see that. I can get it before it goes weird. Anyway. Sorry, we can't show you the back to farm. That is classified. Right. Just gonna pop this back. There we are. Right. Okie doke, folks. What is this game? What is this game? Is this game... Is that Matt Berry there for some reason? Marvel Snap, Marvel Crackle, Marvel Pop, or Marvel Poker? Marvel Snap, Marvel Crackle, Marvel Pop, or Marvel Poker? Oh, Wooden Dove would have got it. <laughs> this is... It's Marvel Snap, isn't it? 194 of you correct. I should jolly well hope so. Weirdly, 20 went for Marvel Pop. 27 went for Marvel Poker, which I could believe, but it's not poker, so... You know. There we are. It is uh, It's probably one of the best card games of this type I have ever played. Is excellent. It also has the weirdest fucking system for in app purchase bullshit, right? There's like a monthly subscription thing of like five quid or something that gets you access to like all the um, uh, like little challenges and things that go on over a month. And you get some stuff free if you don't do that. And then there are these other ludicrously expensive, like a hundred pound in app purchases that get you like a card and some bullshit. If you were to buy them, it would spoil the game for you. Because the game's all about like saving stuff up and getting progression and new cards and stuff. It's really weird. And you can't just go in and like, I'm going to buy all the good cards and all the cards and I will be the champ. Because it will only pair you up against people with similar cards. Absolutely mad. So I don't know who on earth is paying for this stuff. But <laughs> they're paying to spoil the game for them. Really weird. <clears throat> anyway, it's really good. But... Uh... It still has all that in-app bullshit which can fuck people up if they are susceptible to such things. So, boo, boo, boo. Incidentally, uh, this is actually a screenshot from a game I was playing. And I screened it because I got 1,984 in one of the lanes. And you very rarely see above 50. It was what we in the trade call a fucking fluke. Right, scores. Picks off the mark. One chop. Then BS338. Then Lion Noir. Lucky 100, 6 DFT. Total scores, though. Contestant 296 is in the lead above BS338 and Di Carino. Mm. <coughs> oh, 
Oh, excuse me. Right then. Next question is this. Hmm. Was that the thing in the lower left corner? I'm going to check, Mamus May. Uh, lower left is Captain America. Uh, then Hobgoblin. Then Mr. Fantastic. Then Nightcrawler. Ooh, that's an interesting cinnamon robin. Okie doke. You can see what's going on here. Baubles and numbers. Check, retreat, hand, attack done. All your favourites. Right. Are you ready? Are you steady? Please, tell me which game this image is from. Is it from Digimon Digital Card Battle, Card Fighters Clash, Pokemon Trading Card Game, or Monster Deck? Digimon Digital Card Battle, Card Fighters Clash, Pokemon Trading Card Game, or Monster Deck? Oh no! Drops a thing. It's alright, fixed it. Ooh. Right. Well, I hope everyone has spotted the obvious Pokemon and the fact it says Pokemon Power at the bottom. Uh, Digimon Digital Card Battle was a. I think it was a PlayStation 1 game. Card Fighters Clash is an amazing game uh, for. There's two versions SNK versus Capcom and Capcom versus SNK for the Neo Geo Pocket Color. There was also a DS version, which I believe is a horrible bug in it. So that is a problem. Um, I think they might have released like a fixed one, but you can't fucking find. Yeah, Mensky says Card Fighters Clash will forever be much. It's amazing. Isn't it? Not the DS one though. That's poo, and about ninety percent of the copies out there are bugs. Yep, genuinely. You have to play it off a bloody um, flash card in order to know you're getting the version that works. I would have thought. Oh dear. Right. Anyway, this is the Game Boy Color game, Pokemon Trading Card Game, because Monster Deck is something I made up. Well, that's interesting. Monster Rancher card game on Gamer TV. Know about that one, really? It's funny. 224 of you, correct. Apparently, according to somebody in chat, and I've forgotten who, sorry about that, this is coming to the Switch Online shop soon. So, mm, mm. Right. We shall now show scores. You wouldn't believe it, but Miko Kasai was quickest off the mark. Then Ryo Gazuki, then Hershey 23. Lucky 100 was Hex Row. Total scores, contestant 296 is in the lead over Miko Kasai and Dika Reno. Blimey. Right. Ajiro, I, I must have a Tamagotchi somewhere, Dazen. Probably a knockoff one. They did them in Poundland at one stage. Really like upgraded ones at the time where you could choose your um, which creature you had trapped in it. You know, you could choose between, like, dog, cat, butterfly, blah, 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 blah. And a boy and a girl, which was a bit weird. Right. <clears throat> number four. Question number four is this. Oh, I must go into P&M, Mighty Power. I've been in there for a while. Certainly some carding going on here. Where the cards seem to turn into blobs. Just like real life. Ah, home bugs. Unfortunately, Marty Bar, our home bargains is a pain in the ass to get to. <laughs> My cops to say I went through so many Tamagotchis as a kid. I was fucking stupid. I drowned three, lost one in the post box, and traded one for a magnet. <laughs> you drowned three? What? <laughs> Deary me. Right then. Anyway. 
I'm going to show you some questions. There will only be one of those. I'm going to show you some answers. There's going to be four of those. You should click on the right one. Is this game Gwent, The Elder Scrolls Legends, Eternal, or Hearthstone? Gwent, The Elder Scrolls Legends, Eternal, or Hearthstone? Yeah, that's because it's a promo shot, a Poundland PC. So they're probably not even real accounts. So, these are all actual games relatively similar to this. Gwent is the one from The Witcher that sort of spun off into his own game. The Elder Scrolls Legends is basically an attempt to recreate this with Elder Scrolls stuff, as far as I can tell. Eternal, I don't know, it just looked like this. <laughs> this is Hearthstone. 219 of you correct. Yep, the big one from Blizzard that's super duper popular. Right. The scores reveal that quickest off the mark was Bomb 1A, then Tegu 3. Then Throaty Trout. Then Byzantine Caesar. I know we only usually read the top three, but I wanted to say that. Well, Byzantine? Byzantine? I can't remember. We worked out how to pronounce it for Oblivious Heist. I've bloody forgotten that. Lucky 100. Niche 124. Total scores, though. Tigu 3 is in the lead above Dicarino and Miko Kasai. And question five is this. Something going on there. Macobster, 41 months. Thank you very much. Some sort of big bugger with a massive, massive... I was going to say... Um, hammer, but it's more like a lump of masonry attached to a stick. And a spooky cold ghost. <laughs> Cards include train steward and dead. <laughs> Probably some other stuff as well. Anyway. What game is this? Is it Slay the Spire, Monster Train, Inscription, or Deck of Fate. Slay the Spire, Monster Train, Inscription, or Deck of Fate. One game, this say to actually all the results are in. Here we are. So, um, I've never played this. Apparently it's really good, but I have a horrible feeling I'd get really into it and then just not get any work done and play this all the time. <laughs> well, if you haven't guessed, it's Monster Train. The giveaway is the Train Steward card there. 143 of you correct. 37 equally went for Slay the Spire and Deck of Fate, interestingly. Deck of Fate is uh, the one where you... The cards are only for locations, basically, and there's a lot of um, Arkham Asylum-style combat sequences. Slay the Spire is uh, sort of quite streamlined, I suppose you could say. Um, deck building game it is excellent. And apparently Inscription is fantastic, but I have yet to play it. Mm. Right. Show scores. One chop quickest off the mark again. Then Hershey 23, then Cinnamon Robin. Lucky 100. G, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Total scores, though. Miko Kasai is in the lead above a Poundland PC and Sir Clown Dad. And question six is this. Bit of an older one, this. <laughs> Can you tell?
all inscriptions Steam Deck compatible. Is it true as well? Doesn't seem to be enough time for that. Deanna Quigley's horror poker for Game Boy. As amazing as that would be, the villain, it is not. The last one, Ashley Nido, was a monster train. Right. Please <laughs> use all your powers to tell me which game this is. Is it Sabrina Strip Poker, Linda Lasardi Strip Poker, Maria Whitaker Strip Poker, or Samantha Fox Strip Poker? Sabrina Strip Poker, Linda Lasardi Strip Poker, Maria Whitaker Strip Poker, or Samantha Fox Strip Poker? If you're not British, you're gonna have fucking trouble with this one. I apologise. So, let's go through these. This is a Commodore 64 version of somebody who's literally just taken their coat off. They're not being menaced by a spectre. Um, now, the Amiga version, I don't think there is an Amiga version of this one, but there was or something. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about that. Anyway, Sabrina Strip Poker. Sabrina, Sabrina Salerno, I think, the Italian um, songstress. She did get her own 8 bit game. It's fucking abysmal. Uh, it was the next chapter in, uh, or it would have been the next chapter in Terrell Games you've probably never heard of, the second one, Attack of Clicking Skeletons. I actually wrote it up. Um, it was in a Retrofusion magazine once. Anyway, that's not relevant. What is relevant is that it's not a strip poker game. Linda Lasardi, famous page three model, never got a strip poker game. Maria Whitaker did get a strip poker game, but it was called Maria Whitaker's Christmas Box. Was it just Maria's Christmas Box? I can't remember in she was like wearing a Santa costume and then if you win she takes it off also terrifyingly the Spectrum version of Maria's Christmas box makes her look like a corpse it's absolutely horrifying anyway this is Samantha Fox strip poker as that is our Sam 194 of you correct good work Sam Fox is an in unexpectedly incredible singer. She was on Star Wars. She had um, uh, chart hits. Sabrina Rabina, I believe. Touch Me was the song, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah, Kibimono, Maria's Christmas Box. We have uh, mentioned that. Right. We shall now show scores. And we will learn this. <gasps> Quick stuff the mark. For Seelai. Then, then Byzantine Caesar. Byzantine. I was saying it was Zach T. Duck, lucky 100. Ooh. Total scores, Miko Kasai is in the lead, so Clown Dad is second and Cinnamon Robin is third. Ooh. Right. Next up, question seven. Wasn't Maria Whitaker on the front of Barbarian? She certainly was, Caesar. She certainly was. And Wolf from Gladiators. If there's a 16-bit version, Kimimono, then um, you can probably see good results by cover of the Rizzo on that. <coughs> Oh no, Beardy. Not a dying hard drive. Ooh. Right. We've all seen this. But now we must say what it is. Is this game... Magic the Gathering Battle Mage Monster Rancher Battle Card Episode 2 
Digimon Digital Card Battle, or Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. Magic, The Gathering Battle Mage, Monster Rancher Battle Card Episode 2, Digimon Digital Card Battle, or Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. Right. Uh, well, I believe these are all PlayStation 1 games. Magic the Gathering Battle Mage isn't a card game, I don't think. It's some weird offshoot. And Aurelian CB. Thank you for your sub there. 20 months. Digimon Digital Card Battle is obviously a card game. But it ain't this. I think that's like a sequel to the first Digimon game, which may have only come out in Japan. Oh, I can't remember. Monster Rancher Battle Card Episode 2. The Phantom Menace. Attack of the Clones. No, it's none of those. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. 144 of you correct. 49 went for magic. Interesting. No, no, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Look, you can see the uh, right arm and right leg of Exodia there. If he gets all five bits, instant win. I vaguely remember playing this... Oh, like a PC version when it first came out. But there we are. Anyway, scores. Quickest off the mark. I Prawny, then Throaty Trout, and then Tegu 3. Lucky 100, Crusader 86. But total scores Miko Kasai is in the lead over Cinnamon Robin and Sir Clown Dad. Oop, there we are. Right. I suppose we'd better look at question 8, hadn't we? It's this. Lots to take in on this one. There's a lot to unpack. Oh god, that was that was actually accidental, Mega Deca. Ape Puck. Thank you very much for your sub there. Welcome. Or Ape P UK. Or Apep UK. Or, we can say Ape Pub. Unless you can correct us otherwise. Right. Please be telling us which game this is. Ready? Steady? Is it? Oh, it's not coming through. Oh, there it is. Is it Hero Realms, Brass Empire, Ascension, or Epic? Hero Realms, Brass Empire, Ascension, or Epic? Epic is also known as Epic Card Game. Come on, guys. I told you there was a lot to unpack. What you needed to be unpacking was in the top right-hand corner, where if you're not on a very tiny screen, you can read the word Ascension. Oh, 149 of you correct. 40 went for Hero Realms, which does look similar, but yeah, yeah, it says Ascension. Nine went for Brass Empire, and seven went for Epic. Mm. So, little bit of information for you. This game's brilliant. Really fantastic uh, card building game. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Really nice um, iPad and iPhone version. Well, I say that, I haven't played it in a couple of years, actually, but it used to be really, really bloody good. Bless you, Bubblegum Bunny still can't see it and is looking for it. If you go to the top right-hand corner, where there's the 7 on the purple background, to the left of that, it says 72, and it has Ascension written across it. I was going to blank it out, but then I realised it's really not that clear, unless you're in very high def. Neil DK says, I'm on a 47-inch screen. I can't fucking read Ascension. <laughs> Have you got a super low res, though? Yeah, the font is, yeah, odd. Right, then. There's loads of expansions for this. It just becomes a bit of a mess after a while, but this is a super fun game. 
Uh. Right. Better look at some bloody scores. Where we learn that. Dickie Birdie was quickest off the mark. Then Trick the TM, then Thienna 2. Lucky 100, Gordy Glasgow. Miko Kasai is in the lead overall, though, above Cinnamon Robin and Hello Number 3. And this is question 9. Attack! Slash! Attack! We have played this game on stream. Right, quickly, tell me, which game is this? Which game is this? Tell me, tell me, tell me! Is it Dream Quest, Imbroglio, Cards of Power, or Adventure Deck? Dream Quest, Imbroglio, Cards of Power, or Adventure Deck? Whew. Deep breaths, everyone. It's fine. We got there. If this isn't damn near 100%, I may have to go around and slap you all. <laughs> Utter guess, I suess. No, guys, guys, in the last one, the name of the game was visible. In this one, the name of the game is visible twice. <laughs> oh, dear. It's Dream Quest. Yeah, 135, you're correct. 30 went for Adventure Deck that I made up. 25 went for Cards of Power that I made up. 18 went for Imbroglio, which is a phone game that's kind of genius. And I really respect it in a way, but I fucking hate playing it. <laughs> but this is Dream Quest. Imbroglio doesn't involve cards. Incidentally, but... Yep, this is Dream Quest. An absolutely superb uh, sort of deck building game, I suppose you could call it. There's more to it than that. It's um, it's probably one of my favourite video games ever made, and it's completely spoilt by the ludicrously bad graphics, which are not only awful but don't even stick to us one style. Absolutely terrible. Yeah, Dream Quest is great. <laughs> You've heard of this? You surprised me. Yeah, this is a fantastic game, but my god, it is the graphics are so bad it is genuinely damaged by it. But um, yeah, the person who made it's like, nope, these are the graphics. Play with this or not at all. Um, but yeah, this is like, I don't know, oh, 10 euro on Steam, says Miko Kasai. So about, what, eight quid or something? It's absolutely superb. Genuinely superb game. Right. Scores. I Prawny, quickest off the mark. Then contestant 484, then Trick the TM. Lucky 100, War Orbs. Miko Kasai is in the lead overall, though, above Hello Number 3 and Cinnamon Robin. Just remember, there's a very interesting puzzle game. I think Macintosh only, called 3 and 3. I don't know why that sprang to mind. Probably because I just saw Hello Number 3. Right. Mm. It certainly was, Ballet Dude. Two quarters, in fact. Right. Question 10. I don't know if we've ever played this on stream, have we? We might have done. It's a very small table, isn't it? Barely room for the bloody cards. That's not right, Enigma. That can't be right. I'll tell you why afterwards. Is it time to give it away? Maybe. We're nearly end of the quiz, so I'm going to be a bastard. Right. <clears throat> Forget about it, poker. Says 
I'm from New York. You want to play some goddamn poker? Uh. God, the guy in the sunglasses does look like the singer from the Cars. <laughs> You're right, Noir. The guy on the right reminds me of somebody, and I can't place it. I think it might like be somebody I met in real life. Anyway, what game is this, folks? Please to be telling me. Is it The Gambler, Big Jim's Poker Night, Las Vegas Poker, or Hollywood Hustler? The Gambler, Big Jim's Poker Night, Las Vegas Poker, or Hollywood Hustler? And the bride's having an existential crisis. Yeah. yeah, he's not blinked for three minutes. In a minute, he just kind of falls rigid off his chair. Right. Go on the right, looks like Captain. Oh my god, you're right, it's Bruce Boxleitner. That's what I was bloody thinking of, the real kingdom. Well done. Right, so this is an odd one. This is an Atari ST screenshot. The game's better known on Amiga. Um, I had a demo of it on Amiga that was on like CU Amiga magazine. It seemed to be the whole fucking game. I don't know what happened there. I should look into that one day. Anyway, there is a game called The Gambler, but it's for Commodore 64, and it is very basic looking. Big Jim's Poker Night, I made up. Las Vegas Poker, I made up. This is Hollywood Hustler, where a lot of the characters fart a lot and constantly say stupid things over and over and over. 73 of you correct. 62 went for Big Jim's Poker Night, and about 20 each for The Gambler and Las Vegas Poker. Right, we shall now show scores, and do you know what? Rob McBob MC is in the lead over Tacatol and Hello Number 3. Yeah, I think I know the one you mean, Enigma, but yeah, this is the 16-bit uh, boy. Right, Lucky 100 was Blackthorn 22. Total scores, though, Hello Number 3 is in the lead, and Fair Play X is second. Sidman Robin is third. As we go into... Bastard questions. Good luck. You'll need it. The terrible Maverick version of the one gave it away for free in a cupboard disc as Archer Oh, maybe I'm getting confused with that. No, I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be a demo, but it wasn't. I remember that being sort of a thing. Yep, genuinely is Thatcher and Reagan. Gorbachev was in it as well, I believe. Yeah, the guy on the right, I don't think is anyone, is he? He's just sort of a, maybe based on a developer or just a random person. Oh yeah, Arcturus Lux. No, no, the um, I yeah, I totally believe the one gave the full version, but the CU Amiga one was supposed to be a demo. But I couldn't. It, it didn't seem to be lacking any features that I could tell. Oh my god, it's the bloke from Manic Maniac Mansion, quite possibly, Mensky. Snakey B says it's Skip from Shufflepuck Cafe. Oh no, he didn't have such a pointed chin, did he? Right. Are we ready? I do hope so, because you got to tell me which bloody game this is, folks. Is it... <sighs> Poker Sharks. Poker Sharps, Card Sharks, or Card Sharps? Poker Sharks, Poker Sharps, Card Sharks, or Card Sharps? Good luck! You'll need it! <laughs> well, if you knew it, Lambert, you're okay. Split personalities. That was one, wasn't it? All the cubes, or the squares, sorry, we got to slide them around to make a famous picture. There was that spitting image game as well. Oh, that was terrible. So, good luck with this one. It's really odd that a card sharp and a card shark are basically the same thing. <laughs> we don't know the third character is Dapudi. I think it might just be a generic one. Um, so Poker Sharp and Poker Shark aren't really a term as such. So we're looking more at Card Sharps or Card Sharks. 
this is Card Sharks. Oh, 101 of you correct. Very good. 38 went for Card Sharks. 36 went for Poker Sharks. 16 went for Poker Sharks. Sharp, sharp, sharky, sharky, sharp, sharp. Yeah, card sharp is totally a thing, Bronze Retriever. Seriously, look it up. Nico Kazai says, Wikipedia says, besides three fictional characters, Luigi, Lady, and Milton. That's going to be Milton, isn't it? The player can select Mikhail Gorbachev, Ronald Reagan, and Margaret Thatcher. Mm. Right. Scores. Quick's off the mark. Throaty Trout. Then Sir Clown Dad. And then One Chop Animation. Lucky 100. Avalon Rose. Total scores. Hello number three. Then Miko Kasai. Then Caspian Montague. As we go into the final question. Yep. This is true magic night. We notice there's no milk on the table. <laughs> She's had it all. I don't know what she's wearing. Looks like a tank top under a... Or a, no, a vest, actually, under a T-shirt. Very un like Right. Question number 12. This question is probably not going to go down the way you think it is. People unfamiliar with the term card sharp. What if that's a British thing? Which is an old thing. <laughs> or both. Nope, this is not an Assassin's game, Ashley Nido. This was a commercial release. Go, Johnny. Go, 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 go. Oh. <laughs> Just don't bet your soul on a game. Right. <clears throat> Temple OS. Oh, my God. That's a deep cut, Pentas. Right. Here we go, then. Tell us which game this is. Oh, Lamrit might have an idea where this is going. Ready, steady. Good luck. Is this... Bob Hammond's Bridge, Snoopy's Bridge, Omar Sharif's Bridge, or Agatha Christie's Bridge? Bob Hammond's Bridge, Omar Sharif's Bridge, Agatha Christie's Bridge, or Snoopy's Bridge? I read those out in a different order twice, to confuse you. I hope you enjoyed that. Give you a hint. It's a bridge game! <laughs> So, all of these people played bridge and liked bridge and all that kind of bridge stuff. Famous actor Omar Sharif totally was a bridge player. Agatha Christie was a bridge player. It'd be weird to have a sort of tie-in video game, I suppose, at that time. Bob Hammond was a famous bridge player. Or as famous as bridge players get, really. Um... But again, that's not the kind of license I necessarily have for a video game, is it? Is it? Well, not for this one. Did you know that Snoopy played Bridge? Not relevant to this, though. This is Omar Sharif's Bridge. 95 of you correct. Well done. You did well, you know, to not get any bloody um, jimmies in this quiz. Because that was impressive. 95 of you went for Omar Sharif's Bridge. 48 went for Agatha Christie's Bridge. 36 went for Bob Hammond. Very few people went for Snoopy. I no idea how Snoopy plays, but he probably played it in like one strip ever and it got mentioned on something. But there we are. We bloody do one chop. We'll do that in a minute. Right. Before we go into the final results, you get a pack on the pat on the back. Well done. Well done, chat. Well done. Nice.
<laughs> Nirbo says, 95 searched bridge on Lemon Amiga as the mouse pointer was a system revelation. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, if they can spot an Amiga mouse pointer, they're allowed to. Right. Who was the quickest off the mark for the final question? It was Red Ikari Warrior. Then contestant 547, then SW Savage 79. Lucky 100 was Moth Turtle. But overall, the winner is... I don't know what I'm holding on to. You can see it on your screen already, probably. Bloody hell. It's Hello Number 3. Well done, Hello Number 3. Caspian Montague 19 was second. Cinnamon Robin third. Minimum fourth. And Miko Kisai fifth. And the rest of the top 15 were contestant 70. Captain Wolfkick. Matthias Bias, Fudge Touch, Rob McBob MC, Fair Play X, Scott Three, Stu Stan, One Chop, and John T's Corner. Mm. And hello, Johnny1155. Welcome. Overall lucky 100 was Master Hunts. Master Hunts. Mm. Well, hello number three. You get to watch this video of prizes that you haven't actually won. Hooray! A barbecue grill tea and coffee maker, a wine decanter and glasses, an electric fondue set, a cuddly panda, a traveling bag, an infratonic lamp, two pump action vacuum flasks, a box of chocolates, a canteen of cutlery, six half bottles of liqueur, a candelabra, a facial sauna, Pressure cooker with built-in timer, electric drill and bits, two casserole pots, three pottery elephants, car vacuum cleaner, gardening equipment. Close the door. The door has been closed. There's no more door open. Bloody hell! Was that? Uh, I suppose that was Larry Grayson. But I could hardly hear there. Could have been Brucey. I think. I think that was the Larry Grayson era. Anyway. <laughs> Noir says the guy looks like he's not happy about his prize. Don't seem to make a reaction at the booze and drill. That happened every time there was a bloke sitting behind that. Um, as the years went on, the prizes got a bit more interesting. But like in the early days, 70s and 80s. Yes. This is, uh, yeah, quite relevant. Right. That was a interesting quiz. Very well done to get them all by hook or by crook. That was, uh, yeah, impressive. Okay, we should play a bloody video game now. Hang on, I'm just going to look at my list and make sure I haven't missed anything. Gloovy doll, Simmons dude. Nope, we are all good. Oh, hang on. Check Twitter. Oh, no, we did that as well. Bloody hell, we're up to date, folks. Whew. What is an infratonic lamp? That's not a word, is it? Infra hang on, I'm going to look this up. Infra. I mean, I suppose it's a health infrared lamp is what I would guess. Oh, no, it's bullshit, apparently. Um, for merely $700, you can buy a Qi Palm Infratonic 11. Uh, it's the latest machine from the Qi Institute that utilises their Infratonic Chaos Therapy. It provides powerful, unpredictable sound wave signals that aid in pain relief, accelerated recovery, and stress relaxation. Hmm. Okay, then. Seems to run off one AA battery as well. What more do you want? <laughs> Scrolling down the page, it says, click to accept cookies and enable this content. How about no? Hmm. Shadow Khan says, did you ever play Nuclear War on the Amiga? Nuclear War on the Amiga? You're not thinking of Conflict Europe, are you? Or Conflict Middle East? They're the only new...